under my protection. These things are kind of powerful. They all have double attack. I guess you're smaller, so I buff up you again. I think this is pretty scary. <laughs> so everything's lethal, but of course they have all the blockers they can throw away. So like they, they just have stuff to throw away. Yeah, if, only if we had Overwhelm. Imagine this with Overwhelm. Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shen Shivana. Going to be our next random champion deck. These two were right next to each other also. They are both four mana and in the al you know, alphabetical order. Uh, they both start SH, so they were right next to each other. And now they're going to be in the same deck. So I basically built, you know, Shen Demacia, as we've seen with like Shen Fiora, Shen Jarvan, like those kind of decks. Um, and so we're, we're playing like that deck, but with Shivana instead. So we're not really focusing too much on Shivana. So Shivana is going to be our support champion. Last time we had Lee Sin as our main champion and just kind of having Jinx in there as the support. This is like, this is a Demacia Shen deck that just also has Shivana. So our dragons are going to be Shivana and Screeching Dragon, of course, because Screeching Dragon is perfect with Shen as well. And we're just going to be going with the challengers. We'll have Protege, we'll have Fleet Feather Tracker um, as some challengers, and then support with Young Witch, Shen, Bright Steel Protector, that kind of stuff. Top end's going to be pretty good. We get Saker Protector. I think this card's really underrated in Shen decks. Um, give all of our allies with Barrier double attack. And then also a Bright Steel Formation at the top end, because that card is crazy. So let's give it a try. Let's go and play some games here with Shen Shivana. We'll go play our five games. So Goomba, you don't like the Young Witch in here? There's a lot of um, elusives running around, so having your own elusive to do a little bit of blocking is kind of nice. I honestly like this hand, right? Like, I like Protégé at three. I like having the champions, um, and I like a lifesteal thing. But I think we need to kind of lower our curve a little bit. So which champion would I want to keep if we only keep one champion? I mean, I guess we could keep them both. It's just this is my 3, 4, 5. I'm not doing anything 1 and 2. Hope they don't start too aggressive. So Mul should have mulligan Shivana. Shivana actually has a good champion spell for this deck. 2 mana grant challenger. You know, having like Shen have challenger. You know, or even Siobhan have, you know, like Grant Challenger is pretty nice. Okay, I, well, while I could attack for two, I'm just going to pass and have them waste their mana. So they're not, you know, like I attack for two, then they play Caitlyn afterwards or whatever. Gonna have it so they do not. Um, the balance requires a watchful eye. Uh, put more stuff on the board. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Fire and fury burn in me. Burn me. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, whoops, am I right? I demand satisfaction. Alright, so let's see how this works out. Oh, that was 
uh, you know, pretty good, you know, pretty good round for them for with the five mana that they had playing the four spells. Bottom the trails. Caitlyn. Um, I don't think they're really attacking with Caitlyn, right? Off we go. go down. I'll have barrier just in case. Yeah, it's just regular Piltover Peacemaker. Here's my calling card. Yes, please. I think this deck's gonna be pretty good. see not doing this, but it also levels up Shen faster, stronger. Wow. Alright, so I got eight flash bombs now. They had all three of those Piltover Peacemakers, none of like none of them were champion spells. Couple, couple elusive strike. So 34 puff caps, eight flash bombs. Oh, well, they've had a really good last couple of turns. Okay. So this is. 10 total mana. I'm two mana short from playing Bright Steel Protector and then also Spirits Refuge and Stand United. So I think what we're going to do is. I sense an imbalance. This. We'll just start here. This gives us a, a double attack, 8 power. Yeah. And then if they deal that somehow, we'd have the Stand United also that they know about. Everything as it should be. There we go. One and oh. Lurkers. I shall keep all of this. We get to lurk on round one, but we get to challenge the lurker and kill it on round two. We're going dragon style this game. That's what it looks like. Wow. Okay. That's fine with me. Bone Skewer is one of their only interaction spells, and it's now out of the deck. They swim within the flows of magic. I was planning on just saving that spell mana so that I would be able to, um, you know, put Shivana then Challenger, but good spot for River Shaper. No, yes, do that. No, no, go back. Do what you're about to do. So many dragons. This is your end. Suffer my 
fury. Nothing kills Shivana anyway. Ooh. What form will the waters take? Okay. Shivana almost leveled up, just needs to strike one more time. We got a barrier to help it strike. Now the attack gets the plus two, plus two. Two worlds, one balance. I don't get... We are supposed to just play the strafing strike. Doesn't mean they're not blocking Shivana, get to do 9 damage to him. 9 damage is a lot. Make that 10 damage. That's even more. Alright, Shen Shivana working together. Look at that. Synergy with Shen Shivana. Alright, I'm I'm gonna strike that. That's gonna be game. There we go, GG's two and O. Oh. You fought with honor. That was like perfect Dan. Because, yeah, we, we had Tracker into Bright Steel Protector. Yeah, that was a pretty perfect hand. Okay, so we got Karma Twisted Fate. So I'm going to send all of this back, including the Trackers. Because they're just going to be a deck with a lot of Mega Reigns. And then, like, Twisted Fate Red Card. And so, like, those one health units are just going to get swept up very easily. So instead, I'll just save Spell Mana the first couple of rounds. And then curve out River Shaper, Shivana, Screeching Dragon. I don't change fate, but I can see it. River shape the land and give it life. River shape the land. I serve my people with. Right. Experience grants wisdom and strength. All right, we got a great mother deck. They are nothing. You pay first. <laughs> hmm. Whoa. What's the water like down there, guys? Oh. All right, well, we got a cuss palm out of their hand. I think we just trade away River Shaper. It's like River Shaper with the Inspiring Mentor. Yeah, I guess so. I'd rather just draw the spell. I see every move. This isn't part of the training. Why? Why? Why are those not switched? Doesn't make any sense not to switch those. I mean, I guess unless they think I had like a thing that gives this tough, I guess. Like a Ranger's Resolve or whatever. 
I guess they're playing around that kind of stuff. Radiant Strike, Ranger's Resolve. Those kind of cards. Which I could have protected still with like Twin Disciplines, but I really want to protect these two. They are trying to go wide. They don't really have anything great for me to Concerted Strike. After the Great Mother, they just want to draw spells. This is what I was talking about, though, like, you know, building a Great Mother deck. We were kind of talking about that earlier. This is a pretty cool looking Great Mother deck. Yeah, so they'll probably have some big spells. Our dragons are dancing. Hello. Tasty Fae Folk. Of course, not bad. I know we could play the Bright Steel Formation, but I'm going to go with this. Soak it in. Keep up Concerted Strike for Karma. I don't know if that's their plan, is like go Karma and then, you know, be able to like have. Okay, no Karma. And then be able to have like double spells the next round, but could be going with that right here. They are under my protection. These things are kind of powerful. They all have double attack. Uh, what's the smallest thing? I guess. I guess you're smaller, so I buff up you again. I think this is pretty scary. <laughs> so everything's lethal. But of course they have all the blockers they can throw away, so like they, they just have stuff to throw away. Yeah, if, only if we had Overwhelm. Imagine this with Overwhelm. This would be so much damage. Like this thing's attacking for 30 <laughs> with Overwhelm. By itself, 30, 28. Then of course I can give more barriers. So it gives them 10 cards. So of course with 10 cards they have to play something. Never lost a fair game. Blue as the serpentine. on the mana for that now. They get to untap with this. Winter's Breath? Well, good game. See, this is a great mother deck. For 
Silverlight Dog. Oh, no, I lease it. We swim within the flows of magic. It was looking pretty good. And then they have one sided ruination. Good before that. Deal four to a unit. Reconsider. My shield is yours. Yeah, if, if all these like spirits refuges and prismatic barriers, if these were like rallies and stuff, that would have been kind of nice for us, but that's not the case. I'll stop you. Shield up. Game Karma. All right, two and one. Karma Winter's Breath has always been such a strong combo that we've we've definitely built decks and played decks around that combo. Um, but uh, that was good. All right, so Shen Poppy. Yeah, see, that's a Mirai deck right there. See you later, Sparky. Not a second pokey stick. Awesome. Be fuzzy and carry a big gun. Hmm. Two worlds, one balance. I'll sort it. Yeah, four mana, four three, pretty big. We got some. Next, you know, some Nexus healing with some Spirits Refuges. Let's keep a Twin Disciplines available. Rage claws to get out. I walk this space between worlds. Come on, Rip. You're in over your head. Take your pardon. Understood. Okie dokie. Oh, will the waters take? Hmm. Do we have a make a rain? Mirror Shen. I sense an imbalance. It's got plus one to awesome. This is your end. <laughs> All right, good card. That didn't work out. That did not work out. So if I want to level up Shen, I can, you know, play the Spirit's Refuge. Sweep 
take them away. Do not test me. Of course, I don't want either of my champions dying to the four one. The king could go where they are needed. Man, I guess I have to use Spirit's Refuge here, but then I don't even I don't get to heal my Nexus, which is what I really want to do. Because uh, Twin Disciplines, they can uh, definitely stop a Twin Disciplines. Is that just a regular Stand United in their deck? I kind of feel like it was. Balance favors you. The balance has been maintained. Well, hopefully we don't need the Nexus Healing, because that's all of our Nexus Healing gone. A gift I'm surprised they didn't trade Young Witch with Kelp Maidens. I was expecting them to do that. Surprised they didn't. Yeah, Syncopation was a good play. I wish I would have blocked differently. Come on, Rin. I sense an imbalance. Didn't get lifesteal because we were, um, okay, sorry, we were dealing damage to a barrier. Barrier strikes don't really happen. Okay. So if I concerted strike this thing, okay, it does kill that. That takes up a lot of my mana. You like frogs, huh? There is no dispute. Why, hello there. Okay, cool. They gave up. They didn't have the spells to continue on. And that's a victory. Three and one for Shen Shivana. Oh, we got all Demacia. Probably elites, because both Garen and Jarvan are elite. So we're probably going to be facing some elites. We'll keep River Shaper Shen Barrier. Yeah, so the barrier negates the damage. No damage dealt. No. Help. Somebody help. Eh. No life to steal. They appear out of nowhere. Alright, so I was worried about like the, the two mana two two Battlesmith. That's the name of the card. I was worried about Battlesmith. The land and give it life. And that's why I didn't want to trade these with Fleet Feather Tracker because of Battlesmith. However, them. they are also a Vanguard Bannerman deck, understand. and so getting stuff off the board because of Vanguard Bannerman is important. What While we could save River Shaper, again, Shen and Screeching Dragon are going to be more important. I'm going to save the two spell mana because I want to curb. You know, I want to play Shen this round, and then I want to play Screeching Dragon round five. And so I'm going to want to attack with Screeching Dragon and Shen and have Twin Disciplines as well. Okay, now we can change the record. It was frozen. Three and one. So that was a poor round for them. Round four, they had nothing to play. That's, that's a poor round for them. My heart and sword for Demosi. And that's why we keep Twin Disciplines available. I don't make them for the show. Understood. Why are you blocking? Or why, like, why are you attacking? Oh, you have to attack to put Garen in play, right? Down. 
Looking like this is about to be a 4-1. We get to, of course, continually put more things in play. Because if they play anything, that's fine with me. And that's what Shen does. Shen, with challengers, just owns up on other people playing regular old units. That's what's kind of thinking, is that just Shen could be pretty well positioned right now with a lot of Bandle City decks and Poppy decks, like where they're just going wide with a bunch of stuff that, um, you know, like with challengers that are supported by Quick Attack and Barrier you can just continually control the board. Now, you don't really have an answer to a card like the Bandal Tree, but um, but yeah, you can kind of control the board against these these Bandal City decks that are just playing a whole bunch of units out. And then you have this the top end of like Sacred Protector, but especially Bright Steel Formation, that is just crazy good. Now, sometimes you run into a Karma Combo deck that has one-sided Ruination. Obviously, we're not good against Ruination, so sometimes we run into that, and so we lost that one. But besides that, we could really control the board against everybody else and picked up a lot of wins. So there we go. That's going to be uh, that's going to be a four and one. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of Shen Shivana for this random champion combination. Pretty solid deck here. You know, feel free to give this one a try. But so far, two random champion decks two successes we got echo diana up next but as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video